it's a matter of eclectic pleasure and singular honor for me to talk to the people of very high eminence and erudition this morning on the August occasion of International Literacy Day, on the eve of International Conference for Women's Literacy for Inclusive and Sustainable Development. Ladies and gentlemen, the supreme hallmark of achievement of one's life is the service of the humanity. In my view, the best way to serve the humanity is the social and economic empowerment of the people and enlighten them with the light of knowledge, since knowledge is the actual power that trampolines economic growth, holistic development, and social development. Literacy and economic are the basic tools for the formation of human social capital through knowledge workers, leading to knowledge economies and knowledge societies. Ladies and gentlemen, we are committed to eradicate the menace of illiteracy by focusing on out-of-school children and adult male and female illiterates through non-formal basic education schools and adult literacy centers. We have come a long way, and there are enviable success stories of stellar performance, but still there is a huge and gigantic task that is yet to be accomplished. We have focused on gender mainstreaming, rural, urban, and geographic divide, our programs are need-based and demand-driven. By now, we have educated 1.2 million out-of-school children and 1.9 million adult illiterates. We provided out-of-school children a second chance to join the mainstream formal school system and afforded an opportunity to the adult illiterates to access functional literacy and get a lifelong vocational skill. By now, 1.9 million families are out of vicious circle of poverty as a consequence of our innovative, organic, incipient initiatives. And all these literate and skilled men and women are leading a very decent and respectable life. The ultimate goal is to provide educational opportunities to the neglected, less affluent, disenfranchised, and less affluent, neglected sections of society, especially women in the remote rural areas and urban slums. Ladies and gentlemen, we are determined with stoic determination to make Punjab literate, learned, and prosperous by the year 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, the huge challenge and daunting task in terms of huge number of illiterate population and their diversified demands. But we are determined to do it. Unfortunately, we have a burnt of the uh, war of, on terrorism and we have devastating floods in 2010. But despite all these limitations, the nation has proved to be resilient with iron will and steel nerves. And by now, by the grace of God, we are making good progress in the field of literacy and education. Manoj, Manoj. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a matter of great oh, honor madam, and pleasure for me oh, madam, ko for the confirmation of the award of the Confucius. Hmm. The great philosopher Confucius stressed that education is the first and the best thing for everything good in life. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, promotion of literacy and education is not a vocation for me. It is rather an avocation, an obsession, and a passion. I'm sure that our efforts will be fruitful, and our efforts will be a harbinger for peace, education, harmony, empowerment, and amelioration of the people of Pakistan. May God continue blessing all of us. I'll conclude uh, my speech with a verse. Mana ke is ko na gulzar kar sake, 
कुछ खार कम तो कर गए गुजरे जिधर से हम थैंक यू लेडीजन